Hey everybody, so 2021 has started and I want to look back on some awesome zombie killing glory. Fear the Walking Dead has been one of the most controversial zombie shows in a long time for me. Some seasons are good, some seasons are bad. Some decisions are good, some decisions are bad. Some characters are good, some characters are bad. And we're here to look it all over. I'm going to be looking over every single episode of Fear the Walking Dead this year. And you guys can join along with me. Comment down below what your favorite parts of the episodes were, what your favorite characters are, anything you want. Welcome to the Fear Takeover of 2021. Hey guys, AJYT Abt here and welcome back to another episode of our Fear the Walking Dead takeover of 2021. And today we're talking about Fear the Walking Dead Season 6 Episode 30, which is titled, um, what is the title? Holy crap, it's, oh, Alaska. Yeah, <laughs> I vaguely remembered. But yeah, this is a Al and Dwight episode with a little bit of Morgan sprinkled in at the beginning. So, let's get into it. So, yeah, we're going to start off with just a little bit of Morgan that's in the beginning. Um, he's just kind of getting ready. He's, you know, modifying his axe to fit in with his staff. He takes the the, uh, the axe part off of the axe and kind of combines it with his staff. That was pretty cool to see. Because um, I didn't want the staff to just completely go. I didn't want him to just give, give up the staff. And not after all Eastman did to kind of ensure that he was using that all the time but I'm not exactly sure Eastman would be proud of him using it for violence either but oh well who gives a shit <laughs> but yeah um, that's really all that happens this episode with, with Morgan but uh, Dwight and Al are kind of going to these different locations to see if there are people that are in need of Virginia saving them that's basically their job and they have to document it but of course Al is still st very much stuck on um oh my gosh the woman from the CRM Isabel and she gets a radio um picks up the radio frequency of Isabel saying that she was like she's near the area so then Dwight has an idea to go to where she's going at so Al can meet her Problem is, they have to scale this entire, like, feckin' built, like, t super tall build building with walkers, of course, and there's some people in there that are trapped, and, and they're, well, not really trapped, but the people have, like, a sickness, um, the rats, uh, there's rats that are infected with the plague, bubonic plague, and it's been infecting these people and Dwight and Al kind of have to avoid that even though they're not able to Dwight gets infected but of course near the end they do find uh, you know medicine to, to treat the people because Isabel leaves that behind which was nice but yeah Al does eventually get to speak to uh, to Isabel that was a good scene I, I really did enjoy that because I like seeing Al happy we don't see a lot of of happy Al, we just see her asking questions and stuff like that. But uh, her and her and Dwight are, are forming a nice little relation or friendship. I really enjoyed that. Uh, they're the reason why the episode's called Alaska is that Al and Dwight collect credit cards off of walkers, and they've yet to find the one for Alaska. But yeah, the one that they the one the first walker that they find near the building. He has the Alaska tag, but it is one of the leader of the pe of the group of sick people's friends, so they give it up, which is a nice little thing for them to do. But yeah, honestly, the the scaling of the building was cool, where with them going up the uh, going up the rat infested gutters and stuff there, that was pretty entertaining, very intense. The walkers were cool in this episode, especially the one that had, you know fallen down um all the way because i think yeah they said the crm killed him but yeah al 
um, tells Isabel to stay away from the building because, you know, of the infected, uh, thing. Yeah, the bubonic plague. Um, yeah, I I'm glad, I'm glad Al and Dwight have an episode because it's such an unlikely pairing, but I re it really works. But the ultimate payoff has got to be at the very end of the episode where Dwight hears someone on the radio and it sounds like Sherry. And he runs out and runs all the way down and out the building and walks up to the, sees this person standing there. Runs up to the person and yes, it is Sherry. Dwight finally found her and oh my gosh, it was just so... So, 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 so satisfying. Like, I've been waiting for that. We've all been waiting for it, really, since uh, she disappeared in, in Season 7. Uh, for her to come back and for them to be reunited is just such an awesome moment for, for both of them. And, and, you know, Al's very happy for Dwight as well. That was nice to see. But, yeah, they, uh, it's, it's... It's a really good reunion scene. It almost tops when Madison. Well, I don't know. It might. It might even top that. It might even top when Madison reunites with Nick at the uh, military base. That was. That was really good. But um, yeah, the action was good. Like I said, um, and then the stuff with Morgan was interesting enough at the at the beginning where he was like he doesn't know. Oh, uh, he's gonna have to do some really horrible things to, to you know, ensure that everyone is safe. Uh, everyone in his group, you know, is able to, to be safe. But, um, but yeah, honestly, that's all I really have to say for this episode. Uh, I, I love it, I love it, I love it. Season 6 is just the perfect thing. But, yeah, it, it's currently almost 11.50, so I definitely need to get this video out. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, and goodbye. By the way, let me know what your favorite part of the episode was. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Dwight and Sherry reuniting, but, yeah. Bye, guys.